Hi everyone, in today's video on the Hittites, we will briefly discuss King Laberna, the very first king of the Hittite Old Kingdom in central Anatolia in the 17th century BC. With the end of Anita's central Anatolian kingdom, the region once again for a time separated into much smaller local kingdoms. However, according to the late 16th century BC document known as the Telepinu Proclamation or Edict, during the early part of the 17th century BC, a new king of one of these small states located at the city of Kusa, named Labana, rose to prominence and reigned over it until 1650 BC. It is speculated that he may have been distantly related to King Anita, though this possibility is still unclear. The Hittites, though, clearly believed and understood that Laberna was their first king, demonstrated by him being mentioned in the later proclamation and through several connections that we will see in a moment. Whatever the case may be, King Laberna set out on several successful military campaigns to conquer nearby kingdoms so as to add their lands unto his own and possibly he extended his control as far as to the Mediterranean and started what is now known by scholars as the Old Hittite Kingdom. The militaristic and warrior activities of the first king of the Hittites became the example and standard for other future Hittite kings. The proclamation also highlights that Laberna sent his sons out as governors to rule over the new additions to his kingdom, a practice that was continued by later Hittite rulers with rather mixed results. Little else is known about the first king of the Hittites, though his influence upon later Hittite rulers is demonstrated by the fact that a variation of the name Laberna, Taberna, became a royal title that was used by future Hittite kings much like the name Caesar became a title for the Roman emperors after the death of Julius Caesar, which fact clearly shows the man's significance to both the early and later Hittites. Of further note is that the name of Laberna's wife, Tawanana, was also used as a royal title for future Hittite queens. Upon the death of Laberna in around 1650 BC, his son and successor, who at first was also called Laberna, became king. But, as we will see next week, he would soon rename himself to Hattusili, which we will learn about and more next time. Until then, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.